done, finished. Last show, hour ago. Mm -hmm. One of the main things the festival's about is networking. Mm -hmm. So and we've been doing that all over Edinburgh, yeah, yeah. talking to all sorts of people. Yes. So we're very much in there. Like the chaps in Moss Kitchen, we talk to them, they love us, they love us now. Yeah, they know which one's Bob and which one's Jim, yeah. and a lot of people don't. I mean, our wives get mixed up. That's right. They know it. The lady in the cigarette shop. Yeah, she, she knows she, it now. She, she knows, knows it. She separates about yeah. her daughters doing yeah. at university. So, and mm -hmm. the fella in Baguette Express. Oh. Every time we go, he let us write on his chalkboard. He was he, so pleased. He gave us a free baguette. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we bought nine. Yeah. Bar nine, you get ten free. People have been ordering the Bob and Jim all week, which is just this huge, cheesy, smelly mess, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You can have nice. it as a wrap or yeah. a panini. Yeah, grilled. Mm. But as we reflect on this very pleasant time, you know, a, a tinge of sadness, but mainly a huge amounts of relief. Yes. And we got through this and you know there's a few people we'd like to thank personally yes uh, James and Stephanie at the venue for um for not doing very much at all really but they well, were always Stephanie's there. a great hello. support hello hello shall I open the hoose hello, hello. In that's, that's Stephanie yeah. she's yeah. lovely yeah, that's that clearance job. apparently yeah isn't she's it? great she mm. does that's the job isn't it James on the other hand he's not so much on the job but what a does. character. What a character. We'd also like to thank, of course, um, Nicola, our technician, who we had problems with. We had problems she with. She is a very well-meaning girl. Yeah, too well-meaning. Yes, well, that you did have... I mean, I don't... Some, I wouldn't use the term sexual harassment. No. But she's got wandering hands yes. and a, a glint in her eye that can, you know, can be awkward for a couple of fellas. I, there were t occasions where I felt very pressured into taking my trousers off after a show because I towel myself down mm -hmm. and she'd be standing there holding the banner as yep. if she was, I don't know, going to flagellate me with it. It could be very uncomfortable sometimes, couldn't it? She'd hang mm. around that changing room just waiting for the next fella to take his shirt off. Yes. There's a there's a lovely chap called, um, well I won't mention his name, but no. big Geordie bloke Carl. He's a different <laughs> sort of build and stature to us. Yeah. You know, he's more what you'd call one of these... Greek, he's... Greek Adonises. Yeah. I yeah. mean he wasn't Greek, he was, he was Aryan if anything. Geordie. Geordie. Yeah, yeah. much the same. But he insisted on stripping down to his little white pants, where he seems to keep all of his valuables, because it, mm -hmm. it, it, it was bolted out there. Like, in there. It looked like to me one of those old-fashioned telephones. I think he was carrying a snack. Yes, yeah, a baguette, something, mm -hmm. a yes. couple of boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Banana, maybe, a lot of potassium in there, that's, that's for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, John McEnroe. Well, see you next year, I suppose, all that's left to say, isn't it, Jim? Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.